Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Star Flames, and if you're new here, be sure to go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, and join the family. Well, guys, as I've said, I knew that Chris Jenner was about to make a major move. I knew she was about to rebrand. I knew she was coming with some PR tactics, right? Now, based on The Sun, it is said that Kris Jenner is now looking for ways to spice things up on their family reality TV series, Keeping Up With The Kardashians. And she intends to do so by exposing her daughter's disastrous love lives, which includes Kim, Chloe, and Kylie. But there are also fears that the storyline could get a bit dry. Now, the reality is the storyline is already dry. Um, it's not going to get a bit dry because everyone already has an idea of what is going on. Do we know all the details? No, we don't. They're just going to spill some details. People are going to be like, whatever, it's the Kardashian. I think that if Kris Jenner truly means to rebrand, she could start a dating show, you know? and see who dates her single daughters and they could put so many different spins on it. So Chris, if you take this idea, remember to send me my check, okay? Now, according to the report, it says, after two seasons into the family's Hulu reality TV show, the Kardashians, Kris Jenner, reportedly wants to bring back the drama and have her daughters dish the dirt on their disastrous love lives it's been claimed while fans were initially excited about the famous clan moving over to hulu in an official announcement shared in 2020 those who have tuned in for us for the season one and two so far have noticed how each episode is mostly centered around the family's business and plugging their own products and that is factual i believe that what also affected the Kardashians is the fact that Kanye was on their he was on their show. They left that man in a sunken place because they got Ye's fan, and Ye didn't want to be on that reality reality TV series. But he decided that he was going to help the woman that he loved so much. But it only ruined him, right? And it also exposed you know the 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 type of person that this family is. And as such, I believe that people are just done with that aspect of their life. People are tired of, you know, hearing and seeing Chloe cry about Tristan, Kim Kardashian not being able to keep a man, Kylie Jenner, you know, having two babies, no ring, getting pregnant for the man that she doesn't even know whether this guy loved her or not. No, this is no shade to them, but that's exactly how it is. I'm not all, I'm not saying they are alone. I'm just saying, you know, for a family with money and resources, we thought that they would have a better life, you know, because we think that they would have more education. And I'm not talking about college degree, yada, yada. We believe that they have therapists, you know, that they can sit and talk to, try to figure out things. So it's really not a good look. I knew Kris Jenner was coming with something. Chances are we're going to hear about a lot more relationships. We're going to hear about Kim dating three different guys in the same week. We might hear that Kylie is pregnant again. Someone is about to be pregnant if they are not yet pregnant, okay? Because that's just the typical route that their stories take. But this is really all I want to share with you guys because honestly, hmm, there's nothing really more interesting about this because I'm not going to expound on it. It just, just, it's just not given what it's supposed to, you know, a family group of girls, you would think that it would be hairstyle, partying, this cute guy, like men are running from these women. So this is it. I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.